then we're looking at the QQQ and this week was really interesting uh, looking and or let's say starting the uh, looking at the chart on the weekly so uh, if you look on the previous uh, weeks that I mentioned before that I did before I said starting this is just to give you an, uh, an overview on what's happening so I said that uh, the moment on this week uh, when we had an engulfing candle, I said I'm expecting lower prices. And that's exactly what happened. Right after that, uh, we saw lower prices, and even that with the, uh, on the weekly time frame, uh, you see this candle we closed below an eight moving average on the weekly time frame. And I said every time we do close, if you look at here on the side, on the left side, every time we close here, here. Uh, every time we close below the 8 moving average on weekly time frame we kind of see a lower prices that's exactly what happened so after we closed here we saw a lower prices so last week if you saw my video I said I'm expecting either a bounce on this 21 moving average on weekly time frame or we're gonna see a close below it I was more favoring a bounce over here why I said that it's because uh, most of the time on a bull market we do you can see uh, we see a bounce and we use that 21 moving average as a support so we kind of bounce from so I was watching it really carefully and since we did so we kind of got close a little bit I said either we might even see a penetration below that 8 moving average and then close above it or we're gonna see above it so I don't predict anything as if you know me I don't I just react on what the market uh, does uh, so we kind of saw a bounce and in this week was actually uh, interesting because we had um, Nvidia earnings and we saw how Nvidia and QQQ gapped and actually crapped and then we see uh, as of yesterday Friday uh, on a, we had a Jackson Hole meeting about interest and inflation and all that for me it really does not matter I see the reaction of the news not actually the news so so I was watching it and I said uh, actually if you give me a second I said let me pull out my Twitter account and I said um, that it, everybody like actually after that uh, engulfing candle let me see if I can pull it out here yes it's right here I said this is my page and I said that uh, this is on the 24th we are on 26th let's see let's see if I can see yeah I said on this day here if I clicked on it I said uh, yes it is reversal day this is not what I'm showing this is I just give an example on what happened in the past and I'll show you this in a minute I said it is a reversal day and I was I was pointing actually to this day right in here and I said it is uh, I said it is a reversal day but I'm watching to see if we're gonna see it close below actually on this if we're gonna see if we're gonna if the market's gonna close below here or not uh, for me technically and everybody knows this this is an engulfing candle it means gonna be low prices but since I my my and I, as I said this before my long my longest term on the market it's bullish and my short term uh, was a pullback and, and I discussed this and again on my uh, previous video I said we're gonna see between a five to ten percent a pullback and we did actually almost a seven over seven percent pullback so until I said this is what I uh, I was expecting I said until we're gonna see uh, close below 354 which is this low in here if we're gonna close below 354 that means it's gonna be a low prices and we might see consolidation we might see like a crash or something like that but I was not expecting that so that's why I said here I said I'm taking it by by day day by day so I take I take it that by day and look back on the chart and see what happened on a 322 on a spike continuous sideways so the, what I meant is in here you can see that the spy this is not not too long ago on the 23rd you can see that uh, we've been in consolidation and you can see here uh, we had a reversal so you would think we had this down uh, short term couple days here and then we, we went back up and then we we kind of like reverse so this so this basically means that we're gonna see a lot of prices but that doesn't want to happen it the market reversed back up and then you can see how the market kind of fooled us a little bit here on this couple days in here that we're gonna reverse but look what happened right after that we, the market just consolidated refused to go more down uh, and then went all the way back up so that's what I meant when I said this and I did actually said a couple day a uh, couple more tweet I said uh, I mentioned the stock that it was acting actually better this is what you actually want to be doing and I said uh, again I'm not advocating for the market that will go higher from here but I'm le I learned that the market can change character 
and you have to adapt uh, to every input. So basically what I'm saying, like an, uh, the market can fool you and you would be expecting, like for this bullish, in, uh, uh, I'm sorry, bearish engulfing candle, you expect a low prices to go lower. But I mean, yeah, technically yes, but that doesn't predict anything. No, it doesn't predict anything. It just tells you that we might see a low prices. And actually, as a matter of fact, what kind of market pulled back on this Friday here, pulled back down. But I can see by, if you, if you go to the short time frame, by 11 o'clock that was the lowest and the market started reversing so for me this is not a confirmation that the market will go up higher but this is like a beginning so what i'm gonna watch next week is uh if we say if we start to see a close on the daily close i don't care what happens during the day if we're starting to see a close below that candle that low 358 then I will expect uh, that, that then I will be expecting a lower prices ahead. So that will be your first flag 358, and then the second will be close below 354, and that will ensure me that the, the market wants really to go lower. Visit like another uh, support down here. Until then, I'm taking it day by day. So that was that's my uh, my preview on what what I'm expecting the market. Again, this is a pullback. And if you think about it, sit back and look at it and look at the market on a, uh, on a different time frame, you will think that we had a good run after like COVID here, uh, like over 100%. And then we did a hard bear market. So a bear market that if you take it from the high all the way to the low, you will see that we had almost like give or take a 36%. So that's a bear market. Bear market, you can you expect it over 20% or more. So that was a bear market. So some people were expecting like, way lower prices ahead along with going on inflation i just i don't care about the news I, to be honest with you i just care what i care what the market is doing and what happened in the past and 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 then i see the reaction so like i said on a bull market and then we did we did actually double bottomed here and then we started reversing on this day here and then we had a decent run so i mean i mean a, a pull back to the 21 moving average on a, on a weekly time frame that would be expected that will be expected. So uh, that's the same thing again happening on a uh, QQQ. Same thing. Like look at on the left side. Look how that 21 moving average on weekly time frame acted as a support. So the moment we're starting to close below it here, I mean trouble started. And we, then then you could start uh, having a uh, higher lows and lower lows uh, as a definition of a downtrend. So that's my uh, that's my take for the market. Um, uh, I've seen uh, and what I encourage you to do uh, look at look at stocks that are actually holding out including CLS like you saw in my tweet uh, so some stocks are this is electronic uh, electronic sector technology sector uh, just look at those and see what's holding actually uh, uh, and what it's doing better than than uh, than the than the market uh, looking at Nvidia for example look what's happening it's I mean we kind of gapped and cracked, but it's still holding above the 20, 21, 21 moving average. So I look at the market, I look at and look at it, and I look at some strong stocks in that sector and see to, to reflect to confirm to me like what's happening is are we going to see like a, a crash or is this going to be a deep pullback or what's happening? So if that the case, I would have seen probably in the video would probably starting to close below the 50 moving average and or the 21. And that'll be a, a kind of signal or like early flag that the market wants to really pull back. But you look at time frames. If you get scared or something, look at the, the weekly time frame and see what's happening. Are we good? Are we still holding moving average? Are we, where are we doing? So that will kind of like give you a, uh, like a, to calm you, to help you like a, manage your emotions and, and then uh, over this markets. All right. So um, I, I noticed a couple of stocks. Usually I do. Um, I do give you guys a couple stock that I see holding. Uh, one of them I didn't really look in too much this time, and then the, you know me. I look at my screen is I look at I screen stocks with relative uh, strength. So one of them is WFRD, and I did actually mention this stock on some of my previous. I don't remember exactly. Look how it's holding the 21 moving average comparing to the whole market. Uh, so they want to keep this, and you see like the kind of. You see tight action. You see a dry volume in here, which is a good indication that there is no sellers. And then anytime uh, you want to see a, uh, the market starting to break, this 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 is it could be another um, entry point and put your stop loss seven eight percent, or you can use loss low as a as a as a stop. Another one was CIX. He's another stock and basic. Look at this one on a, uh, on a weekly time frame. We'll give you the whole. Uh, shenanigan and what's happening on any uh, single stock so these are the two that I noticed and along one with P uh, a R R 
these are actually oil and gas they're really holding uh, above all the cumulative energy they're acting way differently than than the, than the market i hope this video helped you uh if you find any value give me subscribe and like and uh if you want me to do if you if you want me to do more of this video uh drop me a like uh let me know in the comment you know, below and then i'll uh, i'll do my best uh to do more of these all right thank you uh, and have a good day bye bye